Praise the Lamb, the conduit to great power, promised liberator of the one who waits below. <clears throat> Yet sacrificial beasts take heed, for a crown cannot sit upon two brows. Interesting. Oh! Okay, we are in. My name is Wayne. Welcome, welcome to Cult of the Lamb. So I did this one a little bit differently. I'm going to show you guys a bit of the start of the game. So right now, we are playing as the very last lamb in existence in this world. And as you can see, we're not doing well. We're tied up and bound and chained. Make for a pretty good Friday night, but uh, clearly we're not in a good spot. I love this game's graphics. A game by Massive Monster. So yeah, guys, throw your curveball here. Oh snap! Kneel to be sacrificed. Uh, so before I get into all that, I want to explain a couple of things. Um, it's gonna be some dark imagery in this game. Uh, there's nothing really like. There's no good guys in this game, so no worries about anything like that but they do use a lot of evil and dark imagery so if that's not your thing I get it it's just that you know it's got a scary like kind of atmosphere to it so but with that out of the way here we go before us stands the last of its kind all others we have hunted down and put to the blade for this final sacrifice the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill so they're trying to kill off all the lambs so you can't fulfill the prophecy. Gotcha. The heretic who lies below, who lies bound below, will be condemned to eternal captivity. And the old faith shall be preserved. So these guys represent the old faith. Oh! He enjoyed his job a little too much. Whoa. Can I leave? Here we go. This is the guy that they were talking about. The one who waits below. He's got two bodyguards with him. Oh, the one who waits. Come closer. Fear not. Though you are already dead, I still have need of you. Those foolish bishops who thought they could keep you from me in death, but instead sent you straight to me. I will give you life again, but at a price. Ooh, creepy smile when he said that too. His face is creepy in general. I can see all of the details and his eyes don't blink at the same time. All I ask is that you start a cult in my name. Do we have a deal? You can select yes and absolutely. Nice. Bolt of the Lamb. Yep. One of my favorite parts of this game. That guy got rolled. He didn't know what to do. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to have a little bit of fun and stuff with you guys. Play something that probably probably wasn't expected. But still being interesting enough for you guys visually and, you know, entertaining. I am just wrecking shop through this place now. We'll go ahead and play this first level. Ratu, Ratu, fear not. I am Ratu. I was once a chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the winds. We recording? I snuck it in. I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead. I will be close by. 
You gonna help me if I get cornered? <laughs> Destroying everything. But yeah, this this is a very interesting game. Kind of like how Hades was. I know I keep harking back to that, but Hades was pretty good, and they got a sequel. That's all the inventory stuff. Don't worry about that for now. But yeah, I just wanted to. Yeah, I just wanted to play something different. I bought this game recently on Steam. Uh, yeah, I'm playing it on Steam, and. Uh, I had a blast with it. It's not meant to be played forever, kind of like how Hades can be, but it is fun. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I was already doing that. <laughs> and, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but right now there's kind of a shortage of horror games on Ichio, and when it's like that, nobody knows what to play in the horror community. I just play whatever. I actually have a, uh, I actually have a toy hunt video that I could post. Well, it's already on YouTube, I just need to hit Invisible. <laughs> Jack, guys, how's y'all's been, year been so far? January. I, uh, hope it's everything you wanted and more. Oh yeah, here's a... We have nearly reached safety, but look ahead. Another poor soul about to be sacrificed. Yeah, there's nobody good in, in Cult of the Lamb. <laughs> Rescue them, and they would have no choice but to join your new cult. Not quite, but... Oh, mighty bishops of the old face, we asked you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul. Hey, who interrupts our ritual on trespass on sacred ground? My sword! That too. <laughs> And I can't take any damage right now, I don't think. Yeah, see? I don't have my heart system up there. So you're kind of safe in the beginning of the game. He's a donkey. My first follower is a jackass. That's about right. Alright. I don't need any of that stuff right now. That's how you gain resources later on, too, is just by wrecking shit. <laughs> we have reached safety. You have done well. Oh, sorry. You basically said the Red Crown teleports us. It will take you to a temple that has fallen to ruin. There you will be able to begin your cult anew. I will meet you there. Alright, so you basically teleport through that tu tunnel right here. Now, I did something different, and I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, instead of going through all those menus and dialogues and how to play, I've beaten the game. And I figured I'd show you guys my completed, uh, cult. <laughs> hey, the video is titled, I Became a Cult Leader for a Reason. I didn't lie. So, uh, it's like a weird MTV Cribs kind of situation. Oh yeah, spoilers for the end of Cult of Lamb, if you don't want to see that. I mean, really, there's, there's no big story, but... I'll explain everything. So, you come through, you have to decorate your cult or they'll get pissy at you, and you can lose followers pretty easily, but here's my stone mine operation where I mine stone and lumber, and everything you see I had to build. Uh, here's my missionary where I could send people out on missions, and I've got two guys already. Here's the crapper, literally. Here's where I cook meals for them. Actually, they're kind of hungry, so... And you could go in and you could cook all kinds of food. Like, this right here, Deadly Dish. You wouldn't feed somebody that. 75% chance of a follower dying instantly. Why would you do that? But sometimes you have to kill one. This right here, 5% chance of causing illness? Not worth it. Now, the pooping one? I actually do use their poop. So... And then you get like a cutesy little mini game. Now you can actually time play this game yourself. You can actually play all the mini games yourself, but they released a new patch update where it's just automatic. I've beaten this game so far that I don't need to do it on my own. I'm fine. It's really more for people with, you know, like issues. Now see how they all started pooping instead of going to the bathroom like adults? I need that. So it's okay that they did that. And if you look, their little stomach meter filled up. Yep. It became nighttime, so. They are all going to crash. 
so while they're asleep, I can show you guys things easier. Here's my uh, graveyard, my sick bay. Here is my fertilizer bin. Well, one of them. And where I grow crops. And if you put stuff within reason of each other and you've unlocked certain skill tiers, you can get them to pretty much automate the uh, cult itself. You can pick vegetables. Yeah, it's your typical sim, but from a different perspective. You can give de demands to your follower, feed them, praise them. And that levels them up. And the more leveled up they are, the more they'll help you in dungeons. Uh, you can make them go to work, all kinds of things. I can make them go to sleep. I can make them eat a bowl of shit, literally. I don't like to do that, though. Uh, when you come, well, I don't want to go in. I'll save what that is for later. While they're asleep, I will show you guys this. Now, this is the, uh, the animal trapper, the human trapper. You can buy cult members from him. In this world, if you're not in a cult, you're a free agent and you're probably going to die, so... Yeah, a lot of these guys are in cults. <laughs> and he thinks I'm eating them. I'm not eating them. Now, this right here... This says the same thing. Here, godly blood was spilled. Here, death no longer wished to wait. So, again, spoilers for the end of Cult of the Lamb. The, uh, the one who waits is just death. He's not Satan. He's not Lucifer. He's just death. And that's his domain right there. And you have to have a, you have to be all four of those old guys to uh, and spill their blood to unlock him. So here's the first dungeon, and you know there's some dialogue stuff you won't see. That oh, hmm. I'll stick with it. I'll stick with it. Normally I don't like the warhammers because of how slow they are, and I like to collect every item I can. Like I won't cut the grass as often with a hammer. But, and yeah, this is the game, you guys. <laughs> it's a little chilled, dark, macabre dungeon romp. And as you guys will see, you're not alone. There are people, there are people on the way that will help you, that want to be a part of your cult, and that, uh... I guess they did what you're trying to build. I'm not sure if everybody's motivations, truth be told, but... Alright, we got it. And the temples are randomized, and they're mazes. You don't have to go through every room, but you will become more powerful, potentially, every time if you do. Boom! Yeah, his little, uh... His little evil hat turns into a weapon form. And you can also use spells. And like, uh, everything is randomized like that. Like, see, like, I can go different directions. Now, the, um, stars and moons you see up top, that guy's the, the magical tarot card reader. So you come to him, and he gives you two different options. I can get two blue hearts or increased spawn chest. I'm gonna go with the increased spawn chest. And if you have a recharge and the money, you could come to the side, make an offering and buy another round. Most people miss this. I missed it for a long time. Receive double health when healing. Black anchor drop when roll. I'm gonna go with the receive double health when healing. And, you know, you can always cut the grass. Sometimes you'll get something, sometimes you won't. And it's not always what you think. You might cut the grass and a piece of meat might fly out. Video game logic. But yeah, right now the uh, horror game community is kinda at a dry. I know Dead Space Remake is coming out. Oh, and you can get the cards from the chest, too. Rolling into an enemy will damage them. Nice. I think that should have been a main skill. If these guys make a sequel, I hope that's a main skill that you can unlock. I love this room. All you gotta do is just hit them into each other. Oh, yeah. Well, I probably don't want to... I guess I can roll away from them quick enough. Get your loot and go. And you guys see as I destroy the grass and everything around it, uh, all that stuff pops up as collected. Yeah, like the coins right there. And now you can choose your path to said boss. So I'm going to choose... Ooh, no, I'm going to choose the money. <laughs> I'm going to go for the money. <laughs> <clears throat> Now see, this is the actual boss. I have already killed them. 
If I wanted to fight them again, I could just stand on that portal. In fact, uh, let's do that for you guys so you can see one of the bosses. Why not? Why not? Can't swear that I'll win, but I'll show you guys what it looks like. I should be able to beat him. But after you get your cult big enough, you can fight the first boss. Calamar, insignificant creator. You will learn your place. You do not understand, Lamb. Heed my warning and stay away. So they're trying to get you to stay away from the one who waits. His cult sacrifices themselves. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a lot harder than I, I forgot. He's not one of the easier ones, I believe. But it hardly matters. Yep, each boss is different. And there's a lot of bosses in this game. Ooh, good one. Oh yeah, I can roll into Doom and damage him, I forgot. I played tankish, I won't lie. Is he, uh... One of them has an extra transformation stage. Now normally when you play this, you will not do with nearly as much damage. <laughs> Unless you unlock that, actually, I take that back. You might have good cards. That's how you beat him. And normally you would collect his heart. Oh! Oh, we gotta get back to the cult. People are dying. Of old age. And then you get a summary of all the goodies you got. Now, we left that, that uh, temple early because we beat that boss, but still. We could have kept playing, but it is what it is. I figured you guys would like to see that. <clears throat> so, yep. See, everybody's getting sick and puking because they see that body. So, I gotta clean that up, and hopefully some of them will help me. Now, normally what you want to do is bury them. Like, if you see, I can bury them. But I'm just gonna do this because I don't have any more graves. They do not like it when you butcher a follower. <laughs> Great leader, we are exhilarated by your, your teachings. We adore you and are ready to commit ourselves to work to the glory of the cult. Uh, now, this is a follow request. Uh, he wants me to cast a spell. I'll do it, but um, before I do, I'm going to show you guys my smelting operation. Where I make gold, wood, stone, all that good stuff. And yeah, you just have to keep it going. Now, <laughs> as funny as it sounds... The game does have like a cap on followers where they'll start to kind of break its own rules a little bit and do things that'll wreck your cult. For example, if uh, your cult's favor meter, let's just call it that, gets too low, people will start to revolt, they'll preach against you, and they'll steal. And when they steal, they steal a lot. I had a guy steal t uh, three grand from me in a go <laughs> and took two followers. You just get notified, by the way, and there's nothing you can do about it. So you gotta stop that from happening. Nope. So, before I cast that spell he asked for, I'm gonna go ahead and collect from last time and, and why not, I'll do it. All right, now they have work to do and you can come in your little mini church or your altar and you can perform several rituals. So this one, you light a bonfire. It's a it's a pro one. It's a good one. You light a bonfire. They dance. You party. This one is a sacrifice of a follower uh, to the dark people. And I have a spell where they like it when I do that. Normally they'd be horrified. This is a brainwashing one, and that's one that uh basically like it says they'll be brainwashed for two days, but when they come off of it, they're incredibly sick, like all of them. So you got to cure them quick. Here's the one he wants me to uh, cast. Workers will work for three days and nights without getting tired. Now you see the pointing down? That's a negative scale, so... That's gonna cost me some, uh, some fervor, some popularity. And again, I know it has dark imagery and dark undertones, but it's played for, uh, silliness. At no point are you fighting anything good in this game. 
Yeah, it's pretty much a what would you do if you had unlimited power kind of trip. Plus, it's like a uh, people simulator. Now, this might upset some people, but basically, I can, ascend, I can send a follower to the good guys. You can send one up if you'd like. And I have it unlocked to where they like that, but they like it anyway. So this guy's 48. Wow. This guy's... He's 48 and he's already old, but he's Barbados, 74. So when they wear their white coats, oh, Barbados has the, okay. I know why Barbados is older. So when they have the white coats, it basically means they're older and getting ready to die. As you saw, when people die, people flip out. So better just to sacrifice them. I know that sounds awful, but again, it's not a good feel good game. <laughs> and it doesn't make, yeah, see, he's all happy, but you still end up with meat chunks and that's him. But see, that was a good response. This one, I can increase the devotion. I can make them donate money to me. I can make it to where they don't eat for three days. You can bring a follower back from the dead, but that freaks some of them out. You can appoint a tax man. It's, it's all kind of, you can marry one. It's all kinds of cool stuff you can do. But for right now, let's go ahead and do the sermon so they stay loyal. And now you see that little prayer hands bubble filled up. And they're all good to go and we can see everything we done now they won't uh they'll work for three days when it gets dark they just won't sleep and now i have to go collect the reward from the guy who told me to do that or who suggested i do that you can turn him down there he is all right give me my money thank you leader my faith in you was justified i am gonna give this guy a necklace you can give him gift now i'll give him a gift a small gift and then i'll give him a necklace next time i gave him a cookie little evil symbol on it so it's gonna give him diarrhea now see oh perfect example it's nighttime now and they're still going nobody's gone to their little homes that i built and yeah this is essentially a full-on cult i don't have to do anything i can just sit back and i've beaten the game so I just get money now whenever they level it up. Let's get this guy. He, now he's the guy we bought earlier. The spider was going to eat him. And it gives you their stats. You can change them. You can randomize them. You can choose variants. That. Yep. Now he's a part of the team. Get to work. Old people in the white coats, they don't work. All they do is pray at that point. Yep, and uh, I got a pretty sweet setup here. This game was fun for me, I should add, because, you know, outside of the macabre uh, genre, I like the combat. That's what really sold me. I wasn't as... Oh, that's empty. I wasn't as interested in the sim part of it, but that was really fun, managing all these people. It can be stress-inducing. And I'm not going to say this is like baby's first sim, but... It's pretty tame. You can set it higher, but and the level and the soft lock cap for followers I read is about twenty-five to thirty. They, the game kind of starts breaking its own rules at that point. Like for example, if you cast a spell where they have to all be brainwashed and do everything you say, and they can't get mad, somebody can still leave anyways. It's it's weird. And that's all the vegetables that we grew and the medicine. So when anybody's sick, I come here to the medicine bin and there's nobody in there, so. Oh, those are the graves? Oh yeah, this is a stockade. And major spoiler alert, you can put people who start preaching against you or start ranting or dissenting in the stockades. This guy's in the stockades. His name is One Who Serves. <laughs> yeah, I beat the final boss and I chose to keep him as a pet. And so instead of the one who waits, he's now the one who serves. <laughs> But uh, he was going to leave with a lot of money, the game warned me about, when my back wasn't looking. He still talks shit about you, by the way. You can see his third eye on his head, too. So I put him in a stockade permanently, and I gave him a medallion makes it where he doesn't sleep. <laughs> to be fair, he did kind of call me a bitch. <laughs> Even after you beat him, he talks shit. You can't kill him. But it's more fun to make him your bitch boy. <laughs> now, because these guys don't sleep... For three days and nights they get hungry so you do have to feed them so let's feed them this dish wait this dish increases loyalty 
and it won't cause any adverse effects, but it's a three-star dish, so it takes a lot of ingredients. High-quality ones. Yeah. I don't know if anybody's really gonna watch this video. I know it's not your typical usual scary fair, but... Aw, oh, man, this, my wood shop collapsed, so I gotta build a new one. Both of them did, but I appreciate you guys watching anyways, because, like, sometimes you gotta take a break from all the scariness, you know? Within reason. Within reason. So that's how you, uh, you lay out two new plans, you come over, and you build. And if your cult helps you, that increases their faith in you too, because you're like one of the people. I'm an excellent cult leader. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, two of my, uh, minions got back. I send all the people that get on my nerves or cause infightings on, uh, on quest, missionary quest. Hang on, we're almost done. Alright, what do you want? Theater, I have returned safely from my mission and I have bought an offering. Now all they ever give me is meat and candy because that's all I ever talk for. Now because he went on his mission, he's exhausted so I put him to bed, otherwise he'd work himself to death. Whoa! Perfect example! I was not strong enough, I couldn't do it. I'm so sorry, Leader. They ombre. And then he dies! That's what happens, they die. I'm gonna carve him up real quick before anybody notices. Alright, he's gone. Ah, one guy saw. So he wants me to cook vegetables. I'm gonna bring that guy that just died back real quick so you guys can see what that looks like. It might cost me some negative points, but I got another sermon. Yeah, if you do too much freaky stuff while they're not brainwashed, they'll get mad at you for it. His name is Nombre, level one. Let's bring him back from the dead. I like how it's represented, like the black goop of death just comes out of it, and Herzog, you're back. Now, because you did such a good job, Nombre, I'm going to go ahead and make you the tax guy. He didn't do a good job, but he's back. It's not popular to have a tax guy, obviously, but... He gets the tax man hat. Look at him. Pay up. <laughs> Pay up. And he'll go around the cult doing that as they work. Now that tanked my popularity. So I'm going to give the uh, sermon. That restored a decent amount. Let's go ahead and... Why not? I'll marry somebody. I'll marry the tax person. If you have too many marriages, that gets him mad too. Like right there, I'm married to this person, but also this person. I uh, resurrect a lot of people. And I think this is the point where three is about pushing it. I think they will get jealous. This is a goofy game, man. Very macabre, but I, look how much I got back from that too. So, all right, that's all I need for now. Yep, see, minus five, both spouses are jealous. Three is the limit. Now I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna make this, uh, ooh. He said make a splendid feast. I had a quest to make that, so I'm gonna make it, and I'm gonna hope. Yes, did it. Oh, there he is too. Go get him. You honor me, great leader. I am eternally grateful. You better be. That cost me a lot of veggies. I don't even know if the right people ate those, but... Now this guy... He was exhausted, but he's going to work. Dude, go to sleep before you die. They will die of exhaustion. Now, let's find... Game's chugging a bit because of how much I got going on, as you guys can see. There's my spouse. Now, let's go ahead and give them a gift. And it's going to be the necklace that increases speed. So they could tax people at a faster rate. Alright. And this is my actual file, by the way. So I'm going to save it. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Let's, uh... They're in good enough hands. I don't think they're going to die. By the way... 
because if we stay there for too long, that's good. There's other places on the map you can go, like you could fish, you could do all kinds of stuff. But I'm gonna save that for you guys, let you guys check that out. Um. Yep, see, he's got another follower. I'll buy Jaunty for 50 coins. And coins are hard to come by, don't... Just because I'm throwing them around left and right, like, I am... I'm way past the point where they want you to quit, keep, keep playing the game. <laughs> Like I said, though, the the game kind of spawns in no win situations, like your followers will leave even though they're under a spell that they can't leave, things like that. It's their way of saying go play some, some, ooh! Now, any weapon that is classified as godly is extremely powerful. I'm going to play this run for you guys, and then uh, we'll call it done. We'll call it done. We'll get back to the scary scares. The scary, scary scares that scare you guys. And me. Yeah, I figured out that elevator dread right as I was editing it, because I was watching it, I was like, it was a dad, the mom and dad got in a fight, and then the dad, the kid was hiding from the dad the whole time. It's always a damn dad. <laughs> Boy, howdy. I got a game coming up where that, if that ain't true, it's already recorded, obviously, that's how I know that. Oh, now this thing is freaky. It wants you to give it, okay, it's just, ah, one of my followers died. I'll give it 20, because it's 20, and whatever it gives you is random. Gave us 48 coins back, okay. Now this thing does not like when you destroy the money around it, and as you see it, it violently twitches like it's going to attack you, but it never does. I was playing this at like 4am when I first got it, scared the hell out of me when that thing moved. I can't blame it though, I was destroying its money. Well, in this perspective. My spell this time is the ghost spell. I don't like it very much because it's hard to see and aim. <laughs> but it gets the job done. Yeah, I definitely have my favorite weapons in this game and uh, you guys will too, I imagine. Alright. I didn't get anything really good that first one. Let's see if I get something good here. Increased attack rate. Absolutely. With the godly axe, like I said, any weapon classified as godly is super busted. Those are rare. I'm getting a good run here. There are some cards that will uh, hurt you, believe it or not. They will absolutely just ruin a run. Uh, let's just go to the buy a follower station. Oh, no. Okay, so you guys remember those two cat guys with the one who waits or whatever his name is? This is their mom. He came and kind of conquered her village back when, in the day and uh, took her boys to be his guards. I'm going to take the big gift. She's pretty nice and adorable. I break everybody's shit, though, because that's how I play. I mean, I'm not supposed to be a kind cult leader. I am. I am like the good guy tier, but... I mean, good guy cult of the land only goes for so much. Like, see all the people strung up? He's 58%. Oh my gosh, she was 4,000 something. $4,309. Bro, you better be worth it, worth it. It looks like an alligator. I don't have one of those. Yeah, you unlock different creatures and races. This was a good run. I'm just flying through it. See, this is the other boss, but I'm not going to fight him for that. I'm going to save this surprises for you guys. Because there's a lot more to it than that. Like, they appear in places you don't expect them to. Scare the hell out of you probably a couple of times. They also curse you sometimes, too. Pretty interesting. Now, I am not replacing the godly axe at all, so we can just leave that there. Yeah, see, godly weapons can take things out in, like, a hit or two, or most will take five. And, uh, I have my favorites like everybody else, like I was saying earlier. Um, I like the swords. I'm gonna go for the heart. Always cut the grass. Like I said, the more rooms you check, the stronger you'll be at the end of a run before you face the boss. And you either face a mini-boss or the main one of the main, uh, four.
Play some Cult of the Lamb. I don't need any more re Yeah, my cult basically runs itself at this point. And you could kill them all too, like, um... Like, if you, uh, do things that'll cause your cult members to, like, die or leave, if you lose them all and the game chimes and you don't have any, not only do you die, but I believe it completely erases your file. Just play a new game, bro. Uh, there's YouTube videos where people react to that happening. It tells you not to do that. <laughs> oh. Nope, that blade is weak as hell. I'm gonna take the new magic. Oh, I'm cool with that. I like that spell. Let's see what this ha this guy has though. He's the weapon smith. Whoa. Hmm. Now let's go with the bane sword. Now that's a spell, not a wep a main weapon. So no worries. Man, we are doing great. Like here's the bane sword. See. Normally I'd cut grass, because you could feed your followers a bowl of grass and they'll get nutrition from it. You can unlock a spell that does that. But, um, like I said, it pretty much runs itself. And you don't have to play like a certain way either. The game makes a point of reminding you over and over again, these people are here for you. So... Yeah, see how much it's taking off of them? This is overpowered, is it? And here's the God Axe. Now, the bosses like to do phases and stuff, but sometimes you can kill them so quick with the right layout and the right card power-up, it hardly matters. You coward. Yeah, this is a solid run. Damn it. That's it. Ooh, another moon necklace. Yeah, when they wear the moon necklace, they don't sleep, ever. And they don't take it off, either. That's the end of them sleeping. <laughs> and then you warp back. And, uh... It's Cult of the Land. Yeah, with that intro, I figured I'd give you guys some, like, more advanced gameplay. Because, like, the first hour of that game is just tutorials. And who wants to see menus, you know? I see a lot of YouTubers and, like, people who make content just put the menus. And I'm just like, I don't think anybody wants to see that. App... Yep, everybody's throwing up. Somebody's got an illness. So let's come over to the medical bay. Let's f heal him up. So before he quits pat because they will pass an illness. Oh. Alright, he's good now. Clean up this puke. Yeah, I have so many followers and so much stuff going on. I'm just gonna butcher him. And now I'm gonna feed these guys. Here's the grass, like it's just the worst ingredients ever, but no, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give them the the one that makes them poop so I can get their poop. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed Cult of the Lamb. Like I said, I have it on automatic for this minigame. It's running slow as crap because I have too much going on. <laughs> like I said, this is it an uh, in-game cult. But uh Let's, let's show you guys what some spells look like on our way out. Alright, so we can come over here. And uh, you can get one where you can grow all your crops immediately. They don't have to eat. Here's the one where they give you... Well... Let me, let me cast the mind control work. For, the brainwashing one first. Let's see you guys see what it looks like. Yeah, you get those special mushrooms, wink wink. <laughs> and it, it, it kind of freaked me out, this is good attention to detail, that when they're brainwashed, their eyes have the swirly, so it's like you're not talking to the real them. It, it, it kind of freaked me out. That's a good visual way to represent what you've done to these people. Here, you can increase your age. Nah, let's do the one where they gotta give you money. And I think my cult's at the point where they'll give me almost a grand every, uh, like 900, at least. Keep in mind, it's hard to earn a dollar for a long time in this game. And see how I have the lock on my, uh, my radio? Yeah, they can't lower it. 
here is the one where all the fruits and vegetables grow. But if they're already grown, you've wasted a spell. So you plant seeds, and then if you get in a bind where your cult's mad at you, grow the vegetables. And you earn these power-ups throughout the game. We get anything new? You lazy bastards, it was all grown. Yep, there you go. Yep, 980 coin. And that is Cult of the Lamb, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's chugging a little bit. That's just because we have so much going on in this main area. Let's get out of here. Pick up this one last guy. Yeah, if you guys want to check this out, uh, I think it's on consoles. I know it's on Steam. Uh, the combat is pretty rudimentary. It never gets any crazier, per se. Like, right before we dip out for real, I'll show you guys the last dungeon you sort of romp through. And there's other areas of the game, but I won't show... Oh, yeah, like this weapon right here. The Merciless Sword. You and I both know what that looks like. <laughs> but yeah, that's... Yeah. Love it. And, uh... Yeah, you fight way more... Oh, I hate the bombs. Especially that one. So this is the final temple before you uh you you go back to the one who waits. So everybody here is way harder, as you guys can see. And the uh, weapons are not as good. <laughs> Boom! Wait, oh yeah, I can't dodge and roll into him and hurt him anymore. Yeah, even with a sword that powerful, I still had to uh, grind it out. And if you're ever in a corner, if you're ever uh, in a bad spot, you can unlock the ability to uh, just straight escape. I didn't think we'd be able to pull it off before they uh, hit me. And you lose 15% of whatever you get. But sometimes you have to escape, like if somebody's about to rob your cult blind. So. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for Cult of the Lamb. Guys, I, I really dug this game. I'm done with it now, pretty much. Um, like you guys saw at some points, it just chugs. I've got too much going on. It's not really meant to be played forever like that, like Hades, but it's a different style of game, you know, and... I mean, I got definitely got my funds worth out of it. Like, my call pretty much manages itself at this point. But, uh, uh, Massive Monster, Digital Revolver, if you guys make a sequel, I'm definitely checking it out. Guys, if you had fun with this, like, quirky little, you know, kind of surprise, uh, let me know. And, uh, consider giving the video a like, you know, you know why. And, uh, subscribe if you don't mind, because, uh, we'll be back to horror on the next one. You'll be back to see me scared pretty soon. My name is Wayne.